and you say action. Action! Yeah! <laughs> so, we uh, thought we might give you a little uh, virtual tour of uh, Willowbrook, bring you around all the different places we got. We'll speed up the little bits in between the nice places, the boring bits. And, uh, nothing's boring about here. Yeah, nothing's boring. Okay, let's go! Let's go! Rabbit! Where? Rabbit! Okay, did you get it? I don't know. Did you see it? Oh, that hot so Okay, we're chasing a rabbit instead. <laughs> rabbit! Oh my god, I can't. Where? I can't use this selfie stick. I don't know. It's right by the, by the table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that was a good start. Okay. Rabbit stuff is over. Now we got to get over this gate. This will normally be open, by the way. This is my favorite area of the whole site. These are the two most beautiful trees. Yeah, they're really old and I feel like they're really ancient and they've got lots of wisdom. And that's where the fairies come in. And at the beginning of the year, I did some artwork on the side. I'm trying to get in there. I don't think you can see that because the lights are shining on it. it says, <laughs> Love yourself. Your breakfast will be served if you're glamping, which is included in the price of continental breakfast. Um, if you are a camper, this is where you can cook all your delicious dinners. Let's go! Here we go, hobs, sink, microwave, fridges for food storage, little parrot baby. And this behind me is our Willowbrook Gallery where we've got um, a few little um, artworks by local artists which are all available to buy, they've got prices on them and everything so all the um, money goes directly to the artists, we don't take a commission so uh, yeah, let's go to the next little place so this is the dojo which is our little events venue and um, it's also the venue for um, the Willowbrook Natural Healing Clinic. Um, got the little massage table there, so there's massage and acupuncture run out of here, as well as um, weekly Tai Chi classes and loads of space. Enchanted Forest Hideaway. So this is our Enchanted Forest Hideaway. Double bed upstairs. Two bunks downstairs. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is very pretty. Okay. We've got a little orienteering course for the kiddies on site. Very simple. This is one of our little stations. Say hi. Hi. So this is our Arabian Nights Moroccan Spire inspired hideaway. It's fully equipped with cooker and sink and microwave and oven sleeps two in here and look at the wall it's got lots of nice origami birds the master bedroom 
And so this sleeps uh, five, and there's a pull-out couch as well, so it actually sleeps seven. It's very cosy, very nice. Let's continue on. Let's go look at the jacks. So here we've wanted to uh, funk up a little bit. The thing I hate the most is uh, plain white walls. Uh, to me, it's just a canvas to paint on and make something pretty out of it. So in here we've done some decoupaging, which is just um, ripping up old books and magazines and sticking them on the wall. It's a fancy word for ready. But there's more to be done. I've got some ideas for in here. This is one of our other little camper kitchen kitchens. It's a bit smaller. Uh, it's got a fridge, a sink, um, and a kettle. It's also got a map of the land and a fairy door trail that you can complete with your little ones or your big ones. We get a lot of good reviews about the uh, showers here. They are amazing. Not going to turn it on, but yeah, there you go. And then the men's toilets also couldn't stand the white walls. So our woofers broken and myself did this mirror on the wall mm -hmm. we've also got some decomposing in here from an old sports magazine which I can't remember the label but apparently it's pretty cool if you're into that sort of thing which was me and lots of people are the topic pizza oven area Got our little oven over there. Got tools behind us. Yeah, it's cool. So you can it's sit fun. in here, make your own pizzas, whack it in here, watch it burn, drink your wine, chill out. Fairy garden. This is our fairy garden. This is where the fairies live. So um, this is where the kids can play and hang out and let their imaginations run wild. I'll be doing some um, art classes in here, some summer camps. Probably one of my favourite places of the place. So uh, this is a yurt or herring yurt beside me here and this comes with a private hot tub for whoever's staying here. It's obviously not full at the moment but I promise you it is absolutely awesome. Mm -mm. Yeah. Ziggy, come back. This is our second yurt, Yurt Cabane, named lovingly after Kurt Cabane, of course. Um, has double bed, single bed, and a single bed. Whee! <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. This is our um, wishing ward of Willow. So it's a widow structure and you can um, get a little ribbon that we'll give to you and you can write on it or you can tell it your wishes or your intentions and then you can tie it on there. And then your wish or your intention will fly away with the fairies. Uh, this is another little hideaway shelter that we have. Um, place where you can have a picnic or have a cup of tea, have a beer, have a think, have a dream, have a kiss, whatever. <laughs> this is the river Lung behind me. We've got uh, 250 metres of uh, riverbank along here. If anyone wants to bring their fishing rods, there's a few perch and roach and pike in there and the odd trout.
this is our Japanese tea house and that's the lake and the island behind us. And that brings us to the end of our tour. Ziggy's very angry that that took so long. Aren't you? Yeah. So uh, that's it. Hope to see you one day. Hope to see you here one day. Yeah.